Section 8.7, Complex Eigenvalues and Eigenvectors. Uh, from the beginning, uh, we have given our focus on real eigenvalues and real eigenvectors. But uh, real square matrix uh, can also have complex eigenvalues and its corresponding eigenvectors. So in this section, we introduce complex vector space and complex matrices and complex eigenvalues and complex eigenvectors. Uh, here is the first definition on complex vector space. Set of vectors with n complex component is denoted by this. So all the entries here, GIs, are complex numbers and it is n-dimensional vectors. We define the vector addition and scalar multiplication of a vector in CN similar to those for RN in the same manner. Then CN is a vector space over C instead of R and its dimension is equal to N. So CN is a vector space, uh, n-dimensional vector space over C. CN is a n-dimensional vector space over C, okay? RN is a n-dimensional vector space over R. Okay, that's the difference. If E1, E2, EN, uh, we, if we have these, then these, then a vector V in CN can be expressed as a linear combination of these EIs, where GIs are complex numbers in C, in C, not R. You see, it should be in C, okay? The set EIs, uh, uh, the set of EIs is a basis for CN, okay? So the dimension of this vector space CN is N. And this base is called the standard basis for CN, okay? So these are now uh, uh, standard basis for CN mm -hmm. over C. For, for a complex number G, and this conjugate of G uh, can be written as uh, N minus BI, and the, uh, the magnitude of G uh, can be found as square root of A square plus B square. We call it is a modulus of G. For the complex number, we uh, use a modulus. The modulus of G can be is defined as this. Furthermore, if we denote the complex number G as G is equal to R times cosine theta plus I sine theta, okay, because G is a complex number, if we write it on the, uh, the plane, then those points, those vector can be written as uh, this, as this. Then the, uh, the, this R is the modulus of G, that's the magnitude, and tangent theta is B of A. 이게 이제 아, 여러분들이 그다음 복소수 배울 때그 R2 평면에서 복소수가 있으면 그러면 A 그게 포인트가 A B면은 그러면 그 탄젠 세타는 어, B over A이고 그다음 그 길이를 R로 잡아서 그렇게 해서 R 곱하기 코사인 세타 플러스 아이 세타 세타로 G를 복소수를 표시했었죠. 이때 바로 G가 모듈러스 오브 R G 그러니까 R이 모듈러스 오브 G고 이 세타는 탄젠 세타가 B over A인 거예요. A, B 포인트인 R2 plane. Okay, anyway, so G can be written in this way. So for a complex vector U, uh, we define its conjugate as this. So the conjugate of the vector in CN is a vector whose each entries are conjugate of UIs. Okay, uh, here I gave you uh, the random problem generator for finding the conjugate of a uh, 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 conjugate of a complex uh, vector in R3. Uh, this uh, conjugate of this is this, uh, and if we re reproduce it, the con uh, let's find the conjugate of this is what? Uh, this is uh, this like this. Okay, so each term. So conjugate of each complex number. Okay. okay. Next, Euclidean inner product. If we have U and V in CN, then uh, Euclidean inner product, uh, dot product, it can be written as this. V1 conjugate times U1 plus 
V2 conjugate times U2, da, 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 Vn conjugate times uh, Un, like this. It's order the switched. And, and we define that as an inner product of U and V. Okay, equal this is the Euclidean inner product. Then, if we define the inner product uh, like this, then it satisfies these four properties. Four properties, like that. Okay? And uh, yeah, the same thing, only thing is uh, it has a conjugate here. UV inner product is a conjugate of inner product of V and U. You can easily check it from here, isn't it? If U and V will change, 계산해 보면은 이게 순서만 바뀌어 있으니까 컨지게이트 쓰여지면 딱 맞아 떨어지죠. But others are same. Other three conditions are exactly same as the inner product that you defined on R n. Okay. We call this inner product is a Euclidean inner product for the vector space C n. So this is a special case of an inner product. Euclidean inner product is a special case of an inner product. And also the dot product that you have learned in engineering mathematics is a special case of an inner product. Actually, special case of a Euclidean inner product. If U and V is here, then Euclidean norm is defined like this, like what we did. Square root of uh, the square of the modulus of each terms. And distance is seen defined in, say, in the same manner, okay? The only thing is now you are using uh, modulus because each of the UIs and VIs are complex numbers. If in, uh, Euclidean inner product is equal to zero, then we call it is they are orthogonal. Inner product is zero, then we call uh, it's, uh, it's orthogonal. Okay. If it's less than zero, then it has a wide angle. If it's less, it's small. So it's if uh, it's, uh, 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 if uh, inner, uh, Euclidean inner product is big, bigger than zero, then it, we have uh, uh, a big, uh, angle which is uh, less than 90 degree. Okay, here, for a vector u and v, compute the Euclidean inner product. Yeah, yeah you know, you can, you can, you can, from the definition, you can easily uh, find the inner product and the distance. Okay, here is the code for that. If you define two vectors and Hermitian inner product is and the norm of those uh, difference can be easily found. So, for, so the diff here we have to, now we are using the imaginary numbers in the code in this way. Next, complex eigenvalues and comp uh, eigenvectors of real matrix. Okay. Let lambda is a complex eigenvalue of n by n real matrix A, and x is a is corresponding eigenvector, then complex conjugate, lambda conjugate of lambda is also an eigenvalue of A, and x conjugate is an eigenvector corresponding to lambda conjugate. Okay? Why? Okay. Uh, this eigenvector, x is a, a non-zero vector, and its conjugate it must be a non-zero vector. If ax equal to lambda x and a is real, then we know a conjugate is same as a. So ax conjugate is can be written as conjugate of ax, which is equal to conjugate of lambda x, which is the conjugate of lambda times conjugate of x, which means uh, if lambda is an eigenvalue and x is a corresponding eigenvector, then lambda conjugate is an eigenvalue and x conjugate is its corresponding eigenvectors. Always. So if you start from the real matrix and you, if you find one eigenvalue, that means you have another eigenvalue. So eigenvalue appears as a, as a pair. It's complex. If you, for the real matrix, if you find uh, complex eigenvalue, then you always have this conjugate as an another eigenvalue. That's, this is very uh, uh, important. So you see this fact in true-false problem quite often. Next, if A is equal to a uh, conjugate transpose, then all the eigenvalues A are real numbers. 
So if A is a real number, which means A is equal to A conjugate transpose, which is same as A transpose. So that if A is a uh, real symmetric matrix, then you know it ha always have a real, uh, the old, head, old eigenvalues are real numbers. That's, this is a generalization of the theorem that you have seen in chapter 7. Okay? So in chapter 8, now we have a complex matrix and A is the same as its conjugate transpose, then its all eigenvalues are real numbers. Yeah, I showed it once before, but I explain once more. The lambda is an eigenvalue of A, then there is a non-zero eigenvector X, then we know X con conjugate transpose can be written as X star. Okay. So if you multiply X star on both sides, then this can be written as this, which is X can come out, then X conjugate as transpose times X can be written as what? So inner product of X and X, which is the square of norm. So lambda can be isolated like this, and we know this is non-zero. So if we can show this is real number, then lambda is a real number. So all you have to show now is just to show this is a real number. In order to show those that is a real, the real number is we have to show the conjugate of x star ax is same as x star ax. Okay? So just to analyze, start from here, then we can split it. And here, as conjugate trans, uh, this, uh, uh, this is a, this is a, uh, one by, uh, uh -huh, this, uh, okay, uh, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, this, so this, uh, since this is, uh, this vector is what? Oh, n by one by n, one by n, uh, uh, so this is conjugate transpose conjugate gives you the double conjugate is gone and you now have at x transpose only. Okay? And this can be written as uh, this uh, because, uh, yeah, because of the property of transpose. Uh, so you can, we can rewrite this as x conjugate, a conjugate times x conjugate and the transpose of this gives you x transpose times a uh, conjugate uh, transpose, but as you know, a conjugate transpose is a star, which is same as a, so we can write it as uh, uh, this. Anyway, here, this, uh, this can be written as this, and this can be written as uh, this set splitted, and this can be written as this. But as you see, this conjugate transpose is uh, a itself, so this can be written as this, which means X star AX is same as conjugate of X star AX, which means this is a real number, which means this is a real number, which means lambda eigenvalues are real number. So all the eigenvalue of this matrix, which is called the Hermitian matrix, is uh, all real. That's it. So next example shows, suppose you have a real matrix like this, so if you have a matrix like this, and here A and B are real, and then, and then in this case you always have an uh, eigenvalue, A is equal to plus minus BI. Okay? We can easily check it. If both of them are non-zero, then C can be decomposed into this. C can be written as this. If you multiply these two matrix, then you will have this. because uh, the lambda is this. Where theta is the angle between the x-axis and the line passing through the origin uh, and the point A, B. Mm -hmm. Here, let's check it. Characteristic polynomial of C is this, uh, and the equation. If you solve this equation, then you will have the eigenvalues A is equal to, lambda is equal to A plus minus B, I. If they are both non-zero, then A can be written as this, and B can be written as that. Therefore. This can be written in this way, which is this. Okay. And also, yeah, we've, uh, what, what this, uh, and also, uh, this lambda 1 and lambda 2 are eigenvalues, uh, so this matrix is similar to this matrix. Uh, if, if we have uh, two distinct eigenvalues, so this matrix is diagonalizable. 
So this matrix is similar to a diagonal matrix whose eigenvalues are lambda 1 and lambda 2. And lambda 1 is this and lambda 2 is this. So whenever you have a matrix like, looks like this, yeah, you, all you have to do is you have, you, is, all you, 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 you only need to think about this diagonal matrix which is similar to this matrix whose entries are real. I think that's the end of this section. Uh, Albert Einstein told that uh, a pure mathematics is, uh, in its way, the poetry of logical ideas. And this is what I mentioned before, the, before I started the today's lecture. Okay. This is the power of mathematics, logical ideas, poetry of logical ideas. Any questions? <laughs>